10 reasons why you should slow down and listen in evangelism. Number one, restraint shows wisdom. Proverbs 17, 27, whoever restrains his words has knowledge, and he who has a cool spirit is a man of understanding. Number two, patient listening is contrary to a quick temper. Proverbs 14, 29, whoever is slow to anger has great understanding, but he who has a hasty temper exalts folly. And remember James 1, 19, my brothers and sisters, remember this, everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Number three, patient listening helps slow the conversation down to reduce unnecessary quarreling or tension. 2 Timothy 2.24, And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but kind to everyone, able to teach, patiently enduring evil. Number four, it is shameful to hastily speak. Proverbs 18.13, If one gives an answer before he hears, it is his folly and shame. Number five, you are less likely to act foolishly if you keep your cool. Proverbs Proverbs 14, 17, a man of quick temper acts foolishly, and a man of evil devices is hated. Number six, patience is persuasive. Proverbs 15, excuse me, 25, 15, with patience a ruler may be persuaded, and a soft tongue may break a bone. Number seven, restraining your own words means you have less to regret. Proverbs 21, 23, whoever keeps his mouth and His tongue keeps himself out of trouble. Number eight, it is prudent to let some things slide. Proverbs 12, 16, the vexation of a fool is known at once, but the prudent ignores an insult. Number nine, listening helps you ponder how to answer. Proverbs 15, 28, the heart of the righteous ponders how to answer, but the mouth of the wicked pours out evil things. Number 10, You can silently pray for someone even as you are actively listening to them. Paul says in 1 Thessalonians 5.17, pray without ceasing. Here's six more reasons to ask curious and probative questions. Number one, there is pleasure in understanding. Proverbs 18.2, a fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but in only in expressing his opinion. Number two, it is good to draw out the purpose of, in a man's heart. Proverbs 20, verse 5, the purpose in a man's heart is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Number three, asking questions is a natural expression of warmth and hospitality. Hebrews 13, 2, do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers. Number four, people are interesting. They are royal image bearers of God. Genesis 127, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Number five, people are often more than they pretend to be. Proverbs 13, 7, one pretends to be rich yet has nothing. Another pretends to be poor yet has great wealth. And finally, number six, another may be grieving beneath their courteous affability. Proverbs 14, 13, even in laughter, the heart may ache and the end of joy may be grief.